A quick note with that thrilling finish, there are DVDs available of each individual race. If you would like to have a DVD of the exciting coverage with the seven cameras up and down our shoreline and the outstanding commentary of Bob Whitford and Charles Luckman, uh, you can get a copy of that DVD about 15 or 20 minutes after each race. It's available in the merchandise tent just to the right of the San Diego Crew Classic jumbo screen television and there's a banner of ESPNU hanging down from the tent that houses the merchandise tent. Looking at lane assignments for the men's collegiate JV grand final, it is Washington in lane number one, Cal in lane two, Harvard will be pulling from lane three, in lane four, Stanford University, the University of California Irvine in lane five, and Notre Dame out in lane number six. Five, one. We're at the start of event 72, men's collegiate Five. JV grand Four. final. The starter has started a countdown start. One. He raises his flag, and we have a start. All boats are away clean, away from the stake boats. And your early leader as we cross the 100 meter mark is Stanford University, Washington Cal. Harvard down about half a deck, but these boats are flying as they shoot out of the starting blocks in their starting sprint. UC Irvine still hanging on. Notre Dame, but your early leader now, as these boats are starting to settle and shift down. Lane two, Cal has overtaken Stanford. Washington down by two seats, Har level with Harvard. Notre Dame is at six seats down, two seats above UC Irvine. All boats stroking comparably, 36 to 37. Cal and Stanford are holding level at this point. Harvard and Washington are four seats back outside to Notre Dame, and UC Irvine is pulled even with Notre Dame. As we come to the first 500, the first move of a 10 by California now pushes themselves out by two seats over Stanford University in lane four. Stanford University maintains two seats over lane one, the Huskies from the University of Washington. Washington has worked out two seats over Harvard Harvard is about a tiller, that's one full length over Notre Dame and UC Irvine is even. So as we come into the 750 meter mark, it is still California, but Washington has decided to make their big push here in a 20 and is rowing back into California. They pulled even with Stanford, Harvard is coming with them. So it is still the four leaders, which is California now over Washington, Stanford even, and second place, two seats down. Harvard is four seats behind them. That's the call from the 750. The men's collegiate JV grand final on the water right now. Quickly with the lane assignments, University of Washington in lane one, Cal in lane two, Harvard in lane three, Stanford in lane four, University of California, Irvine in lane five, and out in lane six, Notre Dame, and on, on our early lead is California in lane two. Yes, the University of California and the University of Washington, based on yesterday's results, uh, have the real form in this event. They may prove to be way too strong for the rest of the field uh, in the second 1,000. Uh, University of California, Irvine, will just be stoked to even be in this race, and I'm sure they'll give it their best shot to stay in touch with the rest of the field. As they come down to the 1,000, it's Cal who have a lead of about three quarters of a boat's length over Washington. Washington are pushing at Cal as they come through the thousand. It looks like uh, Cal is hanging on to that first position, but they are being challenged two uh, lanes outside of them by Stanford. And then into the middle, Harvard along the shoreline would be Washington Drifting all the way outside to Notre Dame and Cal Irvine as they come with 750 meters to go. 
Yes, out on the far outside, it looks as though the University of Notre Dame have got by the University of California, Irvine, but they're still in touch with each other, but the ra boat race is effectively split into two. It's a race at the front between the crews from Washington, Cal, Harvard, and Stanford, and a race at the back between UC Irvine and the University of Notre Dame. Cal are still under pressure from Washington, but Washington and Cal are in the third 500 are starting to move away from the race for third place, which at the moment is, is Harvard over Stanford just. California with about 700, check that Washington with about 750 meters to go, kicked it in and uh, they are really challenging Cal right now. It is Cal on the lead in lane number two, but Washington certainly sniffing at their heels in lane number one. Then go to the far outside, Stanford is now fighting off Harvard in the middle of our field and then we have open water back out to Notre Dame and Cal Irvine. We are absolutely delighted the fact that we've got a couple of bands here and you possibly might hear the Stanford band egging on their team. Their team currently in third position being challenged on the outside or inside of them by Harvard. On the lead is California. The other band in attendance, uh, University of Southern California, they aren't in this race, but I suspect when they get there, we'll hear from them as well. On the lead is Cal. Cal has had the lead almost throughout. They got off to a uh, mediocre start, but closed quickly and jumped into that lead early. Washington certainly has been slowly closing on the California crew, but whether they got started a little too late or not is left to be seen. This is Cal picking up the pace, Washington along the shoreline. Then on the outside, almost a dead heat between Stanford and Harvard. Then there is considerable open water back to Notre Dame and Cal Irvine. Washington, can check that, uh, Cal continues on the lead. Washington continues to try to close ground, but they are still about a boat length behind. Now we have open water back to Harvard, sneaking into that third position and Stanford among our early leaders has faded slightly in the last 500 meters. Looking at the finish, unofficial, but apparently it is Cal with the win and they are followed on the inside by Washington. Then outside we go to Harvard and Stanford still on the water and actually having a fairly decent contest between the two of them. Notre Dame trying to hold on on the outside as they battle Cal Irvine on the inside. Just for curiosity's sake, we'll watch the end of that race as Cal Irvine is beginning to close on Notre Dame on the outside. Cal Irving, Irvine on the inside, on the outside. It looks like Notre Dame may hold them off. A late charge by Cal Irvine. But once again, at the leadership, the champion in this particular collegiate JV Grand Final is Cal, followed by Washington with a late charge, and then Harvard University, Stanford, Notre Dame, and Cal Irvine. Who's our line? We'll have the lane assignment shortly for race number 73. This is the Women's Collegiate Varsity Cal Cup Grand Final. The Cushman Wellness Center at Chart Memorial Outpatient Pavilion is proud to offer therapies such as yoga, Qigong, and healing touch to help maintain your health and enhance your physical well-being. For more information, dial 882 Sharp or visit the website at sharp.com forward slash OPP.